Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lillian and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how I install this wig. Uh, this is a curly wig by Ali Grace Hair. This video is also sponsored by them, so shout out to them. Um, it was my first time installing a curly wig and I think it turned out pretty well actually. Um, I just realized I didn't even plug the hairline, but it looks really good. It looks really good. Um, I made some mistakes during the installment process. <laughs> I forgot to put foundation on my lace before applying the wig so if it's a little gray that's why and I also just realized that I forgot to plug the hairline but other than that and despite that it still looks really really good the hair is still wet right now it's not soaking wet but it is definitely pretty wet yeah <laughs> it needs to dry I'm going to let it air dry prob probably if you wonder how I installed this wig Please keep on watching, it's super easy. Before we head in though, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because I upload on every Sunday. And follow me on Instagram at Lillian's Egg Guy. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's just head straight into it. Today's video is sponsored by Ali Grace Hair. Thank you guys so much for sending me your curly wig. Um, this is my first time trying a curly wig, so I'm just going to take you guys with me on installing it and also styling the curls. I have no idea how you're supposed to style a curly wig, but I'm just going to assume that I can do the same thing that I do to my own hair. So this is what the wig looks like. I only bleached the knots last night, or not last night, a couple days ago. Uh, but other than that, I didn't do anything to it. So this is the curly hair 13x4 frontal wig, 150 density and 18 inches. And as you can see, the curls are really defined and I put some leave-in in it. I'm really excited to try it out. Excuse these old cornrows. <laughs> I've had a long week, but um, I don't care anyways. We're putting a wig on top of it. So as you can see, it already has baby hairs as well. Also, I'm still getting used to bleaching knots, so every time it keeps, like the bleach keeps leaking through the lace and touching my roots. This one is okay actually, but at the front, you can see it. Um, the hairline, I feel like it does need some plucking, so I think I'm gonna pluck that first before I get into installing the wig. So let me just do that and then I'll be right back. So I just plucked the wig. I didn't pluck it too much because honestly my hand got tired <laughs> and I thought it it's a curly wig anyway, so I don't think you would notice it that much. I don't know if I'm right or wrong, but anyways. I'm going to put it on and I'm going to use the got to be free spray to install the wig. Same thing as in my previous video because I found that that's just the easiest way to do it. By the way, before I put this wig on, it has four clips inside. That's actually really nice. It has three, like two on the sides, one in the middle and one in the back. I recommend wearing a wig cap under this wig because some of the clips are pulling on my braids but I think that's the point of having clips. <laughs> but if you don't like that then just wear a wig cap under it. Okay, the wig is on. I'm going to cut the lace into smaller pieces or sections. This will just make it easier to apply. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put some brown or dark eyeshadow um, and I'm going to stamp it through the lace to kind of trace uh, my hairline. I'm just going to wet this hair because the flyaways are annoying me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray some got to be free spray on every section, dry it with my hair dryer or not fully dry it for about 30 seconds um, and then put it on and let it dry fully. After I've done all of that, I'm going to cut the lace. Almost forgot to say, make sure to clean your skin with some alcohol beforehand, otherwise it won't stick that well. Few inches later. Let's do it. 
So I forgot to put foundation on the lace. I don't know why it's lifting. This did not happen the last time. Okay, so definitely cut the lace before you apply the wig with this method. Okay, so as you guys can see, the lace lifted a little. I think it's because I cut the lace after installing the wig because last time I cut it before installing the wig, but I'm going to fix that with some got to be glue. What I do is I put the back of my comb in the tube and then I just apply it under the lace like so. And then I lay it with the comb like so. I forgot to put foundation on the lace before applying it. So I am going to put some powdered foundation on the lace right now. And then we're going to make some baby hairs. Okay. The wig is installed, let's move on to the styling. Wow, it looks much, much fuller on the head than it did before. Okay, I said it's 13 by 4, but it has quite a lot of parting space. Yeah, so on the side it's a little less, obviously, but it's still alright, actually. What I'm going to do to style the hair, because it already has leave-in in it, I'm just going to wet it again with some water. And then I'm probably going to put some mousse in it too to find the curls again. So I don't want to get this on my lace because the got to be glue and the gel, I mean the gel and the spray are uh, not water resistant because at the end of the day, it's not really made to be used for wigs, I believe. The spray is just a really strong hairspray and the gel is just a really strong gel. So it's not really supposed to function as glue. So yeah, it's a good thing that you can remove it just by using water, but it also means that you have to be careful when styling the hair with water. See, I didn't even have to fully wet it to get the curls back. That is really good. That's really nice. If this is what my hair will look like when it reaches this length, then I need to find me some magic product that will make my hair grow faster because this is all I want in my life. If my hair was this length, I would never put another wig on my head or do anything to my hair. Like, I would just have it out every single day. Okay, so the hair is wet enough right now. I'm going to use olive oil mousse. Also, I'm not going to flat or like lay it flat at the top because I feel like it's curls, so it should be like very big and stuff. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. It's nice that they put straight baby hairs though, because if it's curly, it's gonna be a bit hard to um, style the, cur ba the baby hairs. And then I take my Denman brush and I'm going to define the curls. It doesn't even need a Denman brush, to be honest. I don't really need to put much effort into defining the curls. So this is 150 density and it's 18 inch. I don't know if it's 18 inch stretched or curly. I think it's 18 inch stretched. Although it is quite long. I don't know because we don't really use inches to measure anything. We use centimeters. Also, I noticed when I washed the hair and I let it air dry, there's not much shrinkage actually. So I'm going to use the Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink Flexi Gel. Okay, let's do the baby hairs. I'm not going to add too many. I think that's enough baby hairs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a little bit of the got to be gel on top of the baby hairs just to make sure they stay set. Mm -hmm. Last step that I'm going to do is I'm going to dry the edges with the hair dryer just to make sure that they stay put. 
So the wig is installed, the baby hairs are done, the hair is styled, and now we're just going to let it air dry. Um, I'm pretty happy with how the wig turned out. The hair is super soft and very thick as well. It looks very natural, obviously it's still wet right now, but the curls are super defined and very juicy. They have a beautiful, like they don't look dry, they're very shiny. Um, and yeah, I really like the hair so far. I think the install turned out pretty good. So I'm proud of myself. I feel like I'm learning more and more with every install that I do. <laughs> I hope you guys like these wig install videos. Please let me know in the comments as well what you guys want to see. If you guys are liking these hair videos or if you're not really a fan of it, let me know. I, I appreciate every feedback that I can get. So this is the end result. I really, really like the hair. Um, one tip, if you don't like your wigs to be too tight, I would skip the whole uh, wig cap method. I prefer to do it without a cap, just cornrow your hair underneath and then put the wig on top. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And follow me on Instagram as well, at Lillian's Egg Guy. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!